Welcome back to the Bastion Let's Play, I'm Water Elemental, and uh, let's go head back and start the second level of Bastion. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. As you can see, this is the Bastion. This is uh, the home base right now. Actually, it says right there, home base. We've already completed the mission right here, and it's blacked out because it doesn't exist anymore. So if you missed anything, unfortunately, you won't be able to go back to these blacked out areas. You can tell you've seen a new area when they're highlighted by these blue sparkling things. Uh, let's actually go check this out. This is one of the uh, proving grounds, which lets you test out weapons and practice with them as long also get upgrades for them. The breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. Now, I'm not the best at these. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Alright. You want to line up your shot with the shadows, because that will uh, let you know what's going on here. It's not... The perfect shot just happens in a flash. Alright, we're going to line that one up there. They do move slightly, so you got to be careful with that. Alrighty. That's four shots. Like I said, I'm not probably going to be completing all of these because I am not very skilled. Unless they become easier with upgrades, then I will probably take them out again. But a lot of these are very skill intensive. And... I don't even know what it takes to get the first place. You can see the prizes up above me. One of them being... Ooh, I got two of them. Sweet. Alright, so, let's look at what we got here. Well, that sounded awful. First prize is five shots. Oh, five shots or fewer so I can get the skill right here. So you get something stringy, it's an upgrade part to it, and then something fancy, which I have no idea what something fancy goes to yet. So, in five shots, you can get the special skill for it. Those are like the upgrades, like the bouncing shot and the mirror shield. We'll probably go back to those once we get some more upgrades for it and lock the uh, armory. With some of the materials we need. And a face plant. You know, it would help if they put a mattress right there or something, but seeing as the world's destroyed, I think he can just land on his face more. Now we're just going to go check out the Workman Ward. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Good wrong? Bad wrong? The dong. Five points if you get the reference. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Ooh, already a new weapon there. Just, just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Alright, this is the machete here. The machete you can charge up to throw and you can also use for really fast attacks. So it's very versatile in most situations. Cleans through things really easily. It doesn't have the same damage ratio, but you hit a lot faster. Like the larger squirms take about two or three hits with the hammer. This takes a lot longer. But you, like I said, you can throw it. But it does leave you vulnerable for a few seconds because you do need to charge it back up before you can use it again. Let me just demonstrate. See, couldn't throw right off the bat. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. All right, we got our squirt. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Yeah, we got squirt lure. This uh, this ability lets you kind of. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. It gets yourself a friendly squirt to help you out. You can tell he's your friend because he's the one with the hearts on it, and he's murdering his friends. As yeah, simple as that. Now, I'm not 100% sure how long they last. I think they stay in a general area, and then they just kind of wait for you. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Oh, he does follow you. Oh, God. Keeps telling himself you better watch his step. No! Huh? 
Snow White gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. A ragged hood, a memento. A soiled garment like a gas fellas wear. Gas fellas used to tend to mines, but now they are storming the remains of Caledonia in arming, alarming numbers. But for what? And we can take that over to the stranger and we can find out what he has to say about it too, which is pretty nice. You can go up and you can find some more info going on, but it's all optional stuff. Gotta break things, it's just part of my habit. And there it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. I'm guessing that we went the wrong way. Oh god. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating for the crowd. I think this is a boss. Scream! And now there's a new marshal in town. Oh, that's awful. Well, I'm just going to explore a bit here just so we can uh, check out what's on the other side here. There might be something good. Might not. Oh. The art style in this game is in... for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. The art in this game is Somehow fantastic. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Cut those out. Now if you're knocked up in the air like that, you can use space to kind of do like a double jump and kind of roll around. But I'm doing a very horrible job in getting hit every chance I get. Now sometimes you can find arsenals and stuff like that inside of inside of levels in case you need to swap where they give you a new weapon you don't want it, so we'll go in here. Inside the forge, he can fine-tune those instruments of his. Now you can see here, something heavy can be upgraded for the hammer. You can use the bow with uh, something stringy, and you can use something fancy for something we don't have yet. Question mark, question mark. So we'll click that here, and we'll select an upgrade. There's one upgrade on each side, and it also costs a little bit of the relic points there, and that's why I'm collecting as many as I can. Now you got a 25 draw speed, and you have plus two penetration per shot. Since this is a slower weapon, I really like... good length of Mies gun. That bow's like new again. It's really hard to commentate when he comes in and he says his own stuff. But oh well, it's not a big deal. With this weapon, I do like to get the uh, plus two target penetration. Just because it's it's a draw up thing, you're not going to be really rapid firing. And if you're going to shoot it, you're going to try to get as many targets as you can. So might as well you know, you, use it to its full advantage. Now we'll go to the hammer here. And you got 50% damage and 10% critical chance rating. This one I always kind of flip flop depending on how I feel. Uh, you can always change your upgrades out whenever you want as long as you upgraded them. But I'm gonna go with. Uh, Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. I'm gonna go with the uh, extra damage because it's noticeable, highly noticeable. Ooh. So. Oh, well, I don't have it with me right now. Darn. I really need to utilize the shield more, but it's on its on the shift key, so it's a lot harder to kind of swap to. Keep up the good work, buddy. I won't forget you. And we'll get the core. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Now, if you want to reload your item ahead of time, like the bow, if you have like one shot or something, you can just press R, just like in any uh, first-person shooter. And you can counter the bad guys as well. It's it's pretty nice. Oh, I don't think we. He heads for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag. Oh God. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. Ugh. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all, Gershel. Oh god, it's Gershel. Well, I've got Chimpakachu, my trusty squirm. The calamity ain't the much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Kid cuts up Gershel like a fine apple. Old scumbag didn't feel a thing. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. 
The rest of the path is gone for good. And his city crest won't bring it back. So yeah, this is going to be one of those levels that once you complete, you won't be able to come back. So it's always nice to... Ooh, what's that? Huh. Glad I was able to grab that before I left. But yeah, we won't be able to come back here either, so make sure you get as much as you can done before you leave. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. I'll just go check out what we found here. It's the Ragged Hood. The windbags used to be alright. Then the Calamity took the floor out from under him. Well, what are you? He spins! Alright, everybody. I can't remember what I named him. I'll have to come back. But whatever I named him back there in the last episode is what we're going to name that one right there. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Alright, so we're going to go over here. We're going to pick our next thing. Now, at this point, I really prefer getting the forge before I get the distillery. Just A lot of things need fixing up in this world. And we can start right here. Just because... The distillery, you won't get the full benefit for it until a few other uh, buildings open up and you find more uh, beverages. Odd way of saying it, but you have to find more beverages to fully get the best out of the distillery. So getting the upgrade shop first is a lot better choice. Now we got something sharp, which is uh, used for the war machete, and we'll check out the upgrades here. You can get 20% crit, or you can get a uh, damage over time effect. Now, the damage over time effect is with both the melee and the ranged throw, and I prefer this over the crit chance any day because it just gives a little bit more utility to the weapon. The little Zolwood oil and that blade shines like a light. And we have one more string right here. We need more. Dang it, we need more. And we'll go over here, see what we got. Switch back to the hammer. And we'll just go with the uh, machete so we can demonstrate that next time. We also have got a uh, bolt burst as well as the new squirt. I thought we could get another one with the uh, machete, but I guess not. But uh, let's go squirt. We didn't. We weren't able to demonstrate that last time, so we'll. He's ready to slice them up and pound them to bits if they get in his way. Well, that does it for this episode. We're probably going to come back sooner or later. Well, hopefully sooner rather than later. And we're going to check out the next area. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. We'll probably take out both the Workman Ward, oh, or uh, the Sundown Path, as well as the Melting Pot. I don't know why we were talking about that. So we'll see you guys next time. Hello.